Metta Pali or Meti Sanskrit means benevolence, loving kindness, friendliness, amity, goodwill, and active interest in others. It is the first of the four sublime states Brahmaviharas and one of the ten paramas of the Theravada school of Buddhism. The cultivation of benevolence is a popular form of Buddhist meditation. It is a part of the four immeasurables in Brahmavihara divine abidings meditation. Metta as compassion meditation is often practiced in Asia by broadcast chanting, wherein monks chant for the laity. The compassion and universal loving kindness concept of metta is discussed in the Metta Sutta of Buddhism, and is also found in the ancient and medieval texts of Hinduism and Jainism as metta or meti. Small sample studies on the potential of loving kindness meditation approach on patients suggest potential benefits. However, peer reviews question the quality and sample size of these studies, then suggest caution. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> and meaning Metta is a Pali word, from Meti itself derived from Mitra which, states Manir Williams, means, "...friendly, amicable, benevolent, affectionate, kind, good will", as well as a form of love, amity, sympathy". The term is found in this sense in the Vedic literature, such as the Shatapatha Brahmana and various early Upanishads, and Vedanga literature such as Panini's Astadhyayi 5.4.36. The term appears in Buddhist texts as an important concept and practice. Buswell and Lopez, as well as Harvey, translate metta as, "...loving kindness." In Buddhist belief, this is a Brahma Vihara divine abode or an immeasurable that leads to a meditative state by being a counter to ill will. It removes clinging to negative state of mind by cultivating kindness unto all beings. The far enemy of metta is hate or ill will, a mind state in obvious opposition. The near enemy quality which superficially resembles metta but is in fact more subtly in opposition to it, is attached greed, here too one likes seeing a virtue, but for the wrong reason. <laughs> metta meditation Metta meditation, or often loving-kindness meditation, is the practice concerned with the cultivation of metta, i.e. benevolence, kindness, and amity. The practice generally consists of silent repetitions of phrases such as, May you be happy, or May you be free from suffering, for example, directed at a person who, depending on tradition, may or may not be internally visualized. Two different methodological approaches have been discerned in recent review papers practices that focus on compassion and practices focusing on loving kindness. Focusing on compassion means that meditation consists of the wish to relieve a being from suffering, whereas focusing on loving kindness means wishing a being happiness. The practice gradually increases in difficulty with respect to the targets that receive the practitioner's compassion or loving kindness. At first, the practitioner is targeting oneself, then loved ones, neutral ones, difficult ones, and finally all beings, with variations across traditions. A 2015 meta-analysis synthesizing various high-quality experiments on loving-kindness meditation, found a medium-sized improvement to daily positive emotion, with meditation on the loving-kindness aspect of meta having a greater effect than practices with a focus on compassion. The length of time meditating did not affect the magnitude of positive impact of the practice. Origins. <inaudible> 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 Prior to the advent of the Buddha, according to Martin Wiltshire, there existed the traditions of Brahmaloka and meditation with the four virtues of loving-kindness, compassion, empathetic joy and equanimity. The early Buddhist texts assert that pre-Buddha ancient Indian sages who taught these virtues were earlier incarnations of the Buddha. Post-Buddha, these same virtues are found in the Hindu texts such as verse 1.33 of the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, wherein the word Meti is synonymous with metta, loving-kindness along with compassion and equanimity, are found in the early Upanishads of Hinduism, while loving-kindness is found in early sutras of Jainism along with compassion, empathetic joy and equanimity. The ancient Indian Pakskarbuddhas mentioned in the early Buddhist suttas, those who lived before the Buddha, mention all. Four immeasurables, 
and Brahmavihara, and they are claimed in the suttas to be previous incarnations of the Buddha. According to Peter Harvey, the Buddhist scriptures acknowledge that the metta concept containing four Brahmavihara meditation practices did not originate within the Buddhist tradition. The Buddha never claimed that the four immeasurables and related metta meditation were his unique ideas, states Harvey Aronson, in a manner similar to cessation, quieting, nirvana. The pre-Buddha Chandogya Upanishad, states Jayatilika, in section 8.15 teaches metta and ahimsa doctrine of non-harm, especially non-violence to all creatures claiming that this practice leads to Brahmaloka. The shift in Vedic ideas, from rituals to virtues, is particularly discernible in the early Upanishadic thought, and it is unclear as to what extent and how early Upanishadic traditions of Hinduism and Sramanic traditions such as Buddhism and Jainism influenced each other, on ideas such as four immeasurables. Meditation and Brahmavihara. In the Jain text, the Tattvatha Sutra, Chapter 7, Sutra 11, which is accepted by all Jainism sub traditions as authoritative, there is a mention of four right sentiments Maiti, Pramoda, Karunya, Madhyastha. Benevolence towards all living beings, joy at the sight of the virtuous, compassion and sympathy for the afflicted, and tolerance towards the insolent and ill behaved. Topic. Buddhist texts In the Pali Canon, the term metta appears in many texts such as the Kakakapama Sutta and Karaniya Metta Sutta. Other canonical materials, such as in the Patisamhitamagga, elaborate on it as a practice, and yet other canonical sources, such as the Abhadama, underline the key role of benevolence in the development of wholesome karma for better rebirths. This basic statement of intention and verse can also be found in several other canonical discourses. Topic: <laughs> Karaniya Metta Sutta SN 1.8. Metta or loving kindness here, states Harvey, is a heartfelt aspiration for the happiness of all beings. It is different than lack of ill will and more an antidote to it, fear and hatred. It is the precept to conquer anger by kindness, conquer the liar by truth, conquer stingy by giving, conquer evil by good, states Harvey. <laughs> Vathupama Sutta In over a dozen discourses, the following description in English and Pali is provided for radiating loving-kindness in six directions, in the canon, this basic formula is expanded upon in a variety of ways. For instance, a couple of discourses provide the following description to gain rebirth in the heavenly realm of Brahma Brahmanam Sahaviyataya Mago. What is the path to the company of Brahma? Here a bhikkhu abides pervading one quarter with a mind imbued with benevolence, likewise the second, likewise the third, likewise the fourth, so above, below, around, and everywhere, and to all as to himself, he abides pervading the all-encompassing world with a mind imbued with benevolence, abundant, exalted, immeasurable, without hostility, and without ill will. When the deliverance of mind by benevolence is developed in this way, no limiting action remains there, none persists there. Just as a vigorous trumpeter could make himself or herself heard without difficulty in the four quarters, so too, when the deliverance of mind by benevolence is developed in this way, no limiting action remains there, none persists there. This is the path to the company of Brahma. Patisamhidamaga <laughs> Metakatha <laughs> In the Kutika Nikaya's Patisamhidamaga, traditionally ascribed to Sariputta, is a section entitled Metakatha Ps. 2.4. Story on loving kindness. In this instruction, a general formula below, in English and Pali, essentially identical to the aforementioned Kunda Kamaraputta Sutta verse, especially evident in the Pali, is provided for radiating benevolence. In addition, this instruction categorizes 22 ways in which the mind deliverance of benevolence can be radiated with five ways of unspecified pervasion, 
Anodiso farana all beings sab satta all breathing things sab panna bhava pariyapana all creatures sab bhuta bhava pariyapana all persons sab pagala bhava pariyapana all with a personality sab tabava pariyapana seven ways of specified pervasion Anodiso farana all women sabha itio all men sab puriza all noble ones sabariya all non noble ones sab anariya all deities sab deva all humans sab manasa all born in lower realms sab vinipatika 10 ways of directional pervasion Disa farana of the eastern direction purathimaya desaya of the western direction pachimaya desaya of the northern direction uttara desaya of the southern direction dakanaya desaya of the eastern intermediate direction purathimaya anudasaya of the western intermediate direction pachimaya anudasaya of the northern intermediate direction uttara anudasaya hash of the southern intermediate direction dakanaya anudasaya of the downward direction hetimaya desaya of the upward direction aparimaya desaya Moreover, the directional pervasions can then be applied to each of the unspecific and specific pervasions. For instance, after radiating benevolence to all beings in the East sab desaya satta, one radiates it to all beings in the West and then North and then South, etc., then, one radiates it to all breathing things in this fashion sab desaya panna, then all creatures, persons, and so forth until such is extended for all those born in the lower realms. Benefits The Pali Canon says that there are a number of benefits from the practicing of metta meditation, including One sleeps easily, wakes easily, dreams no evil dreams. One is dear to human beings, dear to non-human beings. The devas protect one. Neither fire, poison, nor weapons can touch one. One's mind gains concentration quickly. One's complexion is bright. One dies unconfused and, if penetrating no higher, is headed for reborn in the Brahma worlds. The canon also upholds fully ripened meta development as a foremost antidote to ill will. No other thing do I know, O monks, on account of which unarisen ill will does not arise and arisen ill will is abandoned so much as on account of this, the liberation of the heart by benevolence. For one who attends properly to the liberation of the heart by benevolence, unarisen ill will does not arise and arisen ill will is abandoned, monks, whatever grounds there are for making merit productive of a future birth, all these do not equal a sixteenth part of the liberation of mind by benevolence. The liberation of mind by benevolence surpasses them and shines forth, bright and brilliant. Metta meditation is regularly recommended to the Buddha's followers in the Pali Canon. The Canon generally advises radiating metta in each of the six directions, to whatever beings there may be. A different set of practical instructions, still widely used today, is found in the 5th CE Visuddhimagga. This is also the main source for the near and far enemies given above. In addition, variations on this traditional practice have been popularized by modern teachers and applied in modern research settings. <laughs> Métis and Metta Metta is found in pre-Buddhist Vedic Sanskrit texts as Maiti, Maitra and Mitra, which are derived from the ancient root mid love, and these Vedic words appear in the Samhita, Aranyaka, Brahmana and Upanishad layers of texts in the Rigveda, Samaveda, Yajurveda and Atharvaveda. Similarly, the term appears in Hymn 55 of Book 19 of the Atharvaveda, and various Upanishads. A major early Upanishad of Hinduism, named Maiti Upanishad, discusses universal kindness and amity. The Maiti Upanishad, states Martin Wiltshire, provides the philosophical underpinning, by asserting, "...what a man thinks, that he becomes, this is the eternal mystery." This idea, adds Wiltshire, reflects the assumption in the ancient thought that man influences his own environment and situation, causality is equitable, and Good volitional acts conduce pleasant situations, while bad volitional acts conduce unpleasant situations. The Maiti Upanishad teaches, states Juan Mascaro, that peace begins in one's own mind, in one's longing for truth, in looking within, and that, a quietness of mind overcomes good and evil works, and in quietness the soul is one, then one feels the joy of eternity. 
The Isha Upanishad similarly discusses universal amity and loving kindness, but without the term metta. These teachings of universal Maiti influenced Mahatma Gandhi. In Jainism, Yogabindu, the 6th century yoga text by Harivadra, uses the Sanskrit word Maiti in verses 402 to 404, in the sense of loving kindness towards all living beings. <laughs> Metta meditation research Some pilot research studies on the effect of meta-meditation indicate an increase in positive emotions for practitioners. In particular, an immediate impact on positive emotions after practice as well as a long-term effect could be shown, though these effects might not hold true for everybody. In one proof-of-concept study, uncontrolled in sample selection and benchmarking, the researchers report therapeutic potential for psychological problems like depression or social anxiety, when combined with other reliable treatments. <laughs> therapeutic potential The application of meta-meditation for the treatment of psychological and other healthcare-related problems is the topic of current research. Hoffman et al. discuss in their paper the potential use for therapy and report insufficient data, with some promising studies so far. Those studies could show a positive impact on problems such as schizophrenia, depression and anxiety. According to Hoffman et al., there needs to be more rigorous research, especially with the application of Buddhist approaches to loving kindness and compassion meditation. In an eight week pilot study in 2005, loving kindness meditation showed reduced pain and anger in people with chronic lower back pain. Compassion meditation, a Science Daily article states, may benefit by reductions in inflammatory and behavioral responses to stress that have been linked to depression and a number of medical illnesses. Topic. Caution and reviews Bishop in a 2002 review suggests caution on claims of benefits, and states, "...what has been published has been rife with methodological problems. At present, we know very little about the effectiveness of this mindfulness lovingkindness compassion meditation approach, however, there is some evidence that suggests that it may hold some promise." In a 2014 review of multiple studies, Galante et al. reach a similar conclusion, stating, "...results were inconclusive for some outcomes, in particular against active controls, the methodological quality of the reports was low to moderate, results suffered from imprecision due to wide cis deriving from small studies," and that, the kindness meditation methods show evidence of individual and community benefits through its effects on their well-being and social interaction. See also Anapanasati Sutta Kayagatasati Sutta Satipatthana Sutta, also called the Four Satipatthanas Agape, philia, philosha, storge, eros, Greek terms for love Brahmavihara Caritas, Latin term for love Chest, loving kindness and compassionate love in Judaism Kamathana Theria, the practice of loving contemplation in Eastern Christianity Yoga Sutras, a text that includes loving kindness as a part of yoga practice Topic Notes Topic Sources Topic External Links Brahmavihara Dhamma by Mahasi Sayador An essay on Metta by Acharya Buddharakita the Metta Sutta Dharma Dictionary, Rangjungaishu Wiki, Byams Pa, Maiti Facets of Metta by Sharon Salzberg Mathieu Ricard talks about his lifelong practice of compassion meditation.